Morning guys, how you doing? Um, so, I think it's about quarter to eight. So it's quite early, it's not that early, but I'm going to go out for a little walk. Something I'm going to add in for the, for the remainder of the, the vlog, the last few weeks, is I'm going to go for some early morning walks and I'm going to try and get my, my step count up by doing that. Um, just as a little final push, to be honest with you, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with all the progress that I've made to this point. Um, I'm not super shredded or anything like that. That, that was never really the, the goal. But um, you know, really, really happy with how far I've came and where I've got to. Um, but why not push it a little bit for the last couple of weeks and just see how we get on? So rather than reducing my calories a little bit further because I do like to eat food um, I'm just going to get up and go for a little 20 minute walk or a little 30 minute walk in the mornings that I'm not in the gym first thing in the morning which is three or four times a week so <clears throat> just adding that in should should help to to make a little bit more extra progress in the last few weeks so as you can see my hair is a bit of a mess I've actually just spilt some water on myself. Um, so yeah, not really caring what I look like. Just getting myself out of my bed, putting on the clothes that were closest to the bed and uh, getting those steps in. Enjoy. I don't want to save ya, don't want to be strangers. Let me feel like you know what to do. Your limitations, live and go against them Just let go and start up something new Cause I know, I know, I know that what you planned out Everything that you built up isn't what you want And I know, I know, I know Hey guys, so I wanted to give you some practical tips to consider If you're the type of person that is really compliant through the week At building better habits, at working to a framework, at working to a structure achieving certain calories per day. But when it comes to the weekend, things just go a little bit wrong. And I wanna do this because I'm that type of person and I've been in that situation myself. And I feel that this journey, this 16 week journey that I've been on has really, really helped me achieve balance and moderation over the weekend. Um, still enjoying myself, still including alcohol, still going out for meals not restricting anything, not saying no to social events, etc, etc, but still staying on course to the goals that I've set myself and still making progress with my weight loss. Here are some tips that I would recommend that you follow if you're that type of person as well. And please look in the comments section below, in the description below rather, for a link to an article that you probably will find quite helpful. Practical tip number one, start your weekend with a positive action. So this could be Saturday morning, getting up a little bit earlier and going outside and going for a walk and maybe doing, say, three, four thousand steps to start your day on a day that you would maybe just lie in bed, scroll through social media, watch a bit of telly. Nothing wrong with that. And sometimes we need to, to do that. We need to relax. We need to switch off. But my theory behind this is if you start the day with a positive action, you're more likely to continue that throughout the day. And it's going to inspire you and motivate you to do more positive actions. Another example is having a healthy breakfast. So I'm in a habit of when the weekend comes that my breakfast is a little bit different. I like to indulge a little bit more, have a fry up or bacon and egg rolls or whatever. Again, nothing wrong with that. I know that that, that breakfast is a lot higher in calories than say my, my normal breakfast through the week, which is sort of porridge or a couple of poached eggs on toast. So I flipped that and just and stuck to a more normal breakfast, something that I would have through the week at the weekend. And for me, that's starting the day with, with a positive. And I sometimes get clients to do the same thing. If you're going to have a healthy breakfast or a healthier breakfast, the chances are you're going to continue that vein throughout, throughout the day. So start the day 
with a positive action and see how it affects your mindset for that day and for the weekend as a whole. So guys, this week I'm down 0 0.6 of a kilogram, which makes the total weight loss in 14 weeks 8.3 kilograms. Feeling a lot more confident, I'm a lot fitter, probably just as strong with most things, some things even stronger. Really pleased that I have maintained this balanced approach over a long period of time and found some sustainability in what I'm doing. Practical tip number two, track your calories at the weekend versus through the week or the whole week. Common theme that I've encountered is clients are very compliant Monday to Thursday with tracking their calories on my fitness pal, but not so compliant Friday to Sunday. This may be because your regime or your routine is completely different to, to what it is through the week. I get that. Your temptations are greater, you're socializing more, and you don't really want to see the calories that you're consuming. But if you're the type of person that is getting a little bit despondent with the lack of results and you are not in control of your weekends, then we need to address that. Why don't we track just the weekend and leave Monday to Thursday free from, from tracking? That will just take one stress away fr from your current routine. Um, but also give you a bit more control back on the days that you are going a little bit wild. I found this to be a really helpful tip and it also helped me figure out how to find a balance and find moderation in some of the things that I was doing. For example, I still include alcohol in my weekends, but I now know how much alcohol is too much from a calorie perspective. If you're that type of person, you want to get, you want to make the most out of your weekends, you want to enjoy them, but you still want to achieve results, then this could be a helpful tip for you. Practical tip number three. If you're the type of person that has a takeaway at the weekends and maybe once or twice, can we swap that out for a home cooked meal that gets you really excited? Something that is really flavoursome, one of your favourite meals. Can I get you in the kitchen with your family cooking a meal? Now I get that a, a takeaway can be can be quite exciting, and when it comes to the weekend, we, we maybe don't want to 
spend time cooking. We want to be spending more time relaxing. But takeaways are very high in calories. We often do not know the full calorie content to what we are eating. There's a high chance if you are ordering Chinese, Indian pizzas, that there is a lot of oils involved in the cooking process. The calorie content will be a lot higher than what you probably think it is. So for me, I've tried to flip the mindset of, oh, it's Friday night or it's Saturday night, I'm having a takeaway, to, oh, it's Friday night or Saturday night, let's cook something really, really nice. Something that's more calorific than what we've been having through the week, but still less calorific than than getting a takeaway in. That I don't know about you guys or if it's just the takeaways near me, that it's, it's sometimes... It's never as good as what you think it's going to be. And I'm in this habit now and I'm really enjoying the process of being in the kitchen with my family, taking turns on who's cooking or taking turns on who's deciding what we're having, exploring different things and, you know, cooking our, our own home cooked meal, which feels a bit like a treat. Um, so, yeah ditch the takeaway, you will consume less calories, get in the kitchen, enjoy the process of being in the kitchen and cooking and cook something really, really nice that gets you excited.